Yeah. Right in there, uh, right by Rusty. Oh, uh, by the Rusty. Left to right. He's uh, okay, I'll tell you what, but he's standing up from there. You got a cane. Hello, what do you what do you make of the uh, the, the current private efforts, SpaceX and and uh, other Elon Musk? Going space is welcome to do it. That's right. There's a lot of room up there. Do you trust that uh, private uh, companies can be as safe as NASA has been over over most recent years? You know, it depends on how they do it. If they do it rigorously, like we did at NASA, then they could be successful. If not. Some of you are going to get killed. What do you think of uh, the progress of the space program since since 50 years ago? Has it has gone as far as you thought it would go at 50 years ago? Well, it's hard to tell because yeah. it's very difficult yeah. to go to the moon. And uh, it takes time, it takes effort, and uh, they work hard on it. And we're not sure where or when it's going to happen. Uh, uh, are you happy with uh, the private companies getting into a uh, space race, or, or would you prefer NASA be in charge? Well, actually, uh, North American Rockwell was a private company. That's true, but they it was a contract for NASA. Sure. Yeah, yeah they built yeah. the spacecraft, NASA supervised it, Yeah. and so it's a little twist on the contracts, I guess. I yeah. haven't seen a current contract, but you still have the company true. building it and NASA supervising it. That's true. What do you think of the idea of a space force as uh, proposed by the president? Great idea. Why? Need something because space is becoming very complex. And uh, if you don't take care of the home base, well, you're going to have a problem. Should there be a, a militarization of space as, as suggested by that? It's already military. Right. Because of the satellites spying on everybody. And, sure. Yeah. But uh, would you, you know, uh, suppose, supposedly space was supposed to be a, a safe haven for all countries to go up and not worry about being shot down or being shot from. Star Wars was an issue in the Reagan years. Um, uh, uh, what, what, what makes you think Space Force is something needed? I'd like to see. Really? Yeah. The uh, British ran the sea and took care of things for 400 years. That's right. Somebody has to run space. So maybe we have a chance. 50 years ago, would you have thought that there would be no further moon missions beyond Apollo? Well, uh, further exploration. I, uh, frankly, my my preference was going on to Mars from, right. from the moon. Um, but that didn't happen either. So I'm, I, I, I've been pretty disappointed that things have gone as slowly as they have. But frankly, my overall view of this is as long as we're moving forward, that's what yeah. counts. I don't want to see us move backward. Um, but I, I think we're I think we're doing fine right now. Are you happy with the private efforts such as uh, the Crew Dragon, which had a su successful test? I think, I think there are two things I'm really happy with. One is that the private sector is now taking over, frankly, right. the low Earth orbit work that we did first out, out of government. And the second thing I'm really happy with is that, frankly, we, we went to the moon as Americans and as Russians and as whatever today. Right. Okay. But when we go out to Mars, I'm I'm convinced, like the space station, we're going as people from Earth. Good. We're going as a planet out yeah. out beyond Mar out right. Mars and beyond. Are you unhappy that 50 years later we haven't returned to the moon uh, in a manned mission or even gone to Mars? Frankly, I'm not a Mars believer because I believe that has distracted the nation from yeah. going back to the moon. Right. I went camping, and anybody who knows anything about camping knows that you got to decide what you got to take, when you're going to take it. You don't want to take too little, too much. And really, I think there's a lot to be learned before we even consider going to Mars. But I think it's a long-term goal that uh, may be worthwhile, but it's really a question is, is the nation, is the world willing to step up to that kind of a payment? I would just like yeah. them to step up to going back to the moon. And uh, are you surprised that after 50 years uh, you haven't gone back? Surprised isn't the word. I basically, I'm just disappointed that I never yeah. saw an American back on the moon, and I have right. concern that my children won't be able to see an American back on the moon. Well, yeah. What do you think of uh, the idea of a space force, uh, militarization of space as opposed to uh, uh, exploration? I haven't given much thought to it. I'd like to hear some proposals and see if it might uh, provide, I think, the momentum 
that we need to get back into space in a big time fashion again. I think that the uh, the commercial entities are doing a pretty good job. Right. And I'm interested in seeing how far they can go, and then who's going to take it farther than that. You're all still alive. You're, you're all still here. Oh, you, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've lost more than we've got alive. I know, I'll tell you I what. Know. It's uh, it's uh, really a. Uh, to some extent, it's sad because I think of the people that made the space program happen. And I think of George Lowe, I think of Dr. Gilruth, I think of Dale Myers. Yeah. I think of the, uh, the real pioneers who paved the way. And I don't see that we have got a generation that uh, can match up to the generation that yeah. took us there. So I think the real challenge going to the moon is to find people who are going to lead this generation back yeah. to the moon.